and good evening, everyone. We begin at 5 with a developing story out of Jamestown. That's where 16 people have been taken down in a major meth bust. The news for us, Chris Horvonitz tells us how the drugs were smuggled into western New York. Good evening. Several of the suspects were taken into custody just this morning, and many of them are from right here in Jamestown. Over the course of this investigation, which uh, has uh, extended from at least uh, November of last year, um, approximately seven pounds of suspected methamphetamine has been seized. Um, and seven firearms. Federal prosecutors say the drugs originated in Mexico and then were shipped from California to Chautauqua County by the Postal Service. The first arrest was made yesterday after authorities alleged suspected meth was intercepted on the way to Jamel Trapp's Fredonia home. Now 16 people are facing a combination of state and federal drug charges. And all these individuals are charged, um, at least in the federal uh, paperwork, with um, with uh, a conspiracy uh, to distribute methamphetamine. There is evidence that these traffickers were also dealing in cocaine. And so considering all of the evidence in terms of the drugs that were involved, the cocaine, the methamphetamine, uh, we have reason to believe that it's extended as far back as 2013. Several warrants were executed by police this morning, including one right here on Thayer Street in Jamestown. You can see the damage to the door where it appears police went in. Cops here in Jamestown say they're thrilled to be levying some federal charges in this case. When we started this investigation, we didn't know what path it was going to go. And as it continued to grow, uh, we reached out to our federal partners and they were more willing to help. Officers here say while heroin, opioids continue to be a problem in most communities across the state and the country, they've noticed a rise in meth dealing here in Jamestown. And they're hoping that these arrests put a dent into that problem. Reporting from Jamestown, Chris Horvath, it's News 4.